Joined by Draw United goalkeeper Colin McCabe after tonight's nil all draw with Sligo Rovers. Uh, Colin, uh, what you make of that game? Yeah, similar to last week, a little bit scrappy, um, particularly in the first half. Against the breeze, and we knew that you know they've got pace up top and uh, they've been scoring goals early. Um, they scored early here the last time, so we knew that we kind of had to stay in the game first 10 15, and we'd done that. Um, didn't really create too much in the first half, got in all positive, maybe be braver on the ball, kind of similar to last week. And then I thought in the second half, fans cheering us on, going down the hill, breeze. It was maybe what ifs, you know, kind of half chances. Dane had an excellent chance as well. Um, but, you know, again, they had a chance at the last minute as well. So it's unbeaten. Um, like we mentioned, we don't want to keep an unbeaten record of draws. We want, you know, an unbeaten of wins, and that's what we strive for. But it's a clean sheet, and we move on to next week. Yeah, I actually think we've probably had the better of the chances. Foley has a, a great chance. Uh, Nugent has a decent chance to keep makes a good save. And then, obviously, Dane, you know, it's, it's a half chance. It's a good header. So, you know, overall in the game, I know you said they did have a few chances. But, you know, even over the two halves, I actually thought we were the better team. Yeah, absolutely. I think out of the keepers, I think, Ed probably had the more saves. I don't think I had one really. So, you know, they had a few half chances, true balls. To be fair to Luke, he's made an absolute wonder tackle um, over there on the far side of the box. So, do you know, for me personally, I, I wasn't too busy. It was a lot more kicking, kind of again, similar to last week. A few crosses from the corners, but I think we dealt with, with them. But, you know, maybe we look back and, and try and be more clinical. Uh, for next week uh, and try and test the keeper again next week and uh, try and get more goals. Yeah, you two starts for you now and you're obviously uh, had a great week as well, off the, a great few weeks off the pitch as well. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, look, it's been a good week. Do you know, as I said last week, um, you can't get too high or you can't get too low. Mm. And when I wasn't in the team, I couldn't. I was. It was the same, do you know, just yeah. again, come in, work hard. Obviously, Sam done well, but on a personal selfish note, it's one clean sheet. I think Sam had three or four. So, do you know, I'm targeting that. I want to get clean sheets. I want to perform well. Um, and ultimately, if we get clean sheets, the club is doing well. So, you know, we get points on the board and um, just take it week by week. And, you know, next week's going to be another tough game. Yeah, we obviously, a few, obviously, it's a few weeks back now. We went on that few wins, a few uh, losses in a row. And then since then, we've gone on, what, five unbeaten streak. Mm -hmm. It was similar to when we lost up in Derry, one of the first games of the season. Again, we went on a six game unbeaten streak. And, take this on are you capable of doing it you know absolutely I think the, the, the league proves regardless of first attempt that it's tight you know every game is tight um, and it's probably who scores first so you know we knew that again tonight last week we didn't panic obviously when we went 1-0 down um, but I think there, it is important going into games to score first and then believe once you score first you know your tails are up um, but we fancy our chances, like, you know, it's only a couple of weeks ago we'd be Shamrock Rovers here, but we want to do that more. It's not, we don't want that to be a one-off, you know. Um, but we just get back to basics on Monday, work hard, and, and I think that's what we've done well this week, going into a team that can score goals, but we, we obviously didn't let them score any tonight. Yeah, we've obviously now go away to Pats. Uh, last time we went there, it's a one all draw, and over on the game, I actually think we could have won that. Um, it was 1-0 for quite a lot of the game, and then obviously they come here and they got a 4-0 win. Um, to be fair, you know they, had, they were excellent here that night. They probably didn't put a foot wrong the whole night. Um, but you know they've coming off the back. They'll be sore after you know the two 0 up in the 88 minute against uh, Finn Harps and they've drawn two, two all now. So it's obviously they'll be they'll be sore after that. But you know we're going to be full of confidence as well. Exactly, and you'll expect a reaction. You know, knowing the manager from last year, he'll he'll uh, try and get a reaction out of them. You know, he'll be <clears throat> putting the pressure on them again. Like I said, very similar to next week. First 10, 15 minutes, they will come out of the traps and they'll shoot. You know, um, but we can believe again, regardless of the scoreline. You look at like you said tonight, Finn Harps two 0 down, eighty eight minutes. So anything's possible. Um, you know, it, it would have been nice to get that win tonight to going in to next yeah. week and be a bit more positive. But again, like we said, we're full of confidence in there, um, unbeaten in five. So let's try and keep it going as well. Perfect, fair play. Brilliant, thank you.